First of all, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well get that on tape. Um, we're here to talk to you about your, mostly about your life in basketball refereeing, but if you want to go anywhere else, right. please feel f- do so. When did you start refereeing, Keith? About 1961, which is a bit a fair while back. It, it came about with me going to uh, teach uh, at the Warden High School in uh, 59, uh, became involved with a temporary teacher and so forth. And, uh, and then we became involved because the high school had a, a basketball team. Uh, and uh, I was on the basketball play at that time. I used to play table tennis. So we got there. I believe I started playing the, the end of uh, 1940, 1960, I think that, that sort of era. So, uh, but that's just the got involved with the team school. Why did you start to referee? Because no one else would do it or did you like it, the idea? Uh, well, that trouble getting people to do it. Nothing new. Probably I had the bit in me to want to do umpiring, which is the cricket umpiring. I did, I did uh, later on, of course, did uh, football, football football umpiring. Uh, so now, uh, I suppose there's something there that... Uh, and uh, I know you got the, uh, you got from last night, uh, people talking about those involved with kids, like 11 and 12 year olds, and bringing them up. So it's been that, and again, to those kids who had, uh, they, <laughs> they wouldn't get their wins before Christmas, uh, some of them. Uh, and then they, we just keep plodding on the list. So we've got to beat that 15, or that 10 that's below us, every time that's, that's the one we've got, and of course that. That turned out quite good. That made some good kids come through too. Mm. And when did Portland sort of get a, a real basketball stadium and you become a real referee, you know, with the black and white stripes? And when, when did that happen? Probably mid-60s. Uh, I, I, I'm quite, quietly proud of what we got we had here because we established the, uh, the uh, Portland Referees Association. We had young kids refereeing with the, with the seniors that we had there. Uh, and we started up going to Country Week and so forth. Uh, and I think probably from that time, it was in the mid-60s, uh, because I, I think it was the first, I know it's got on the list too, but the first one that uh, I think a, a crit, a crit I got was 65, it was from Henry, Henry Peraza. Mm-hmm. And of course, I've had what, to that process, John Holden and people like that, so it was, it was, it was good. And I just feel that uh, for my sport, particularly in the Fulton, last 20 to 30 years has been the best time as far as Fulton's concerned with sport and with other developers as far as the town's concerned. It's been the time that the further developed mm-hmm. and you've been proud of them. Uh, and as I said last night, I was about a gate crasher. It finished up the uh, two words around here. But you were seeing the test, you were like, no, no, just this long play. Class four, <laughs> because I didn't have the qualifications to go into the next grade. But never mind. Yes. And you went to Country Week from '65 onwards. Did you go every year, or uh, not every year? But uh, we went a lot with uh, Kevin Watt. We travelled a lot with Kevin, and I suppose during that period of time, I don't know how many years we really had at Country Week, but quite a lot. People and I would travel the most of them, yeah. and we, we were disappointed that it didn't continue at the old track. So. And what about getting into the state sort of level when you got your state batch? How did you enjoy that phase of your refereeing? Ah, oh, that was great, really. That was uh, that was uh, uh, incentive that they had to, to try and do as best they could, uh, and uh, it just occurred that uh, we stepped up a little. And I stepped up. That was a fairly difficult job travelling from Portland down to Melbourne that distance. In fact, we've uh, yeah, we've had the occasions where we started uh, uh, cutting work by doing the first game, coming down from Melbourne beforehand. It's to, to fit it in. But that, that, that was one of the problems in the relation to uh, develop, I should imagine, is, is the distance of the country. Uh, on the, the question here, sort of indicated that perhaps, and then you made these decisions without them taking place, but if not, that's got to be carried out. and. Uh, uh, I always thought that we'd probably put too much time on the top left, that the emphasis should be on the ones down there, bring them up. 
Terry, Terry's type referee, so I thought they should know the Well, I did just quit him every time, every time he had to the weekend. If, if Kate Nader does, if he gets a little the poor um, in performance and so forth, he's brought aside and he's asked to do games and be good at the time. But I just find that a lot of those uh, uh, other ones that have looked at, looked at, looked at, hmm. that might be a detriment little uh, medal with uh, the kids coming on. But, uh, yeah, I, I just, no, I, I enjoyed the early years, John Darko, the Nullbars, yourself, uh, uh, Walhurst was another referee on it. Mm. One side so took the double bed up. <laughs> he was up in Queensland at the gym. He took the double bed. <laughs> <laughs> six foot six or six foot eight. <laughs> he couldn't get the double bed. <laughs> uh, yeah. That was Keith. And do you have a, a memorable game that sticks in your mind as being really good or really bad? I don't. Of course, I don't know if the you gave me that one. No, I can't really. So, uh, this, uh, there's been some good games, which I've enjoyed. And there's been some good games just going to Hamilton doing the grand finals, yeah. uh, which, which was great. And that's part of the, uh, uh, the referee scene here, that I believe we had the standard of referees to go to other centres, which we were doing. Casterton, Hamilton. We even went to Mount Camby, Warnall, uh, Port Perry. Uh, that, that was doing fines and doing fines. In fact, the, the poor fairly one, we must have had about 20 years in a row back with the force to do the fines because uh, I believe that the stand that we had here it was good. It may not have been uh, as you on uh, the straight uh, uh, mm. stand, but it was with, in, the, in the here. Uh, but then it fell away a bit. The, uh, the air concerned me, <laughs> they shot at me, but the, uh, the younger athletes. They're lazy, and they just they just want to run, and, and I, I get stirred up with that. that they just don't know. I don't, don't get over the centre line. That's the sort of stuff. And and I I the stadium here. I don't go there much now. You, uh, uh, they, they just hand it just about the centre line, and then will I walk in the stadium? <laughs> yeah, that's a bloody change, which is which was just good. Yeah, yeah. And your involvement in the country council, how long was that over? How many I think it was about 72 or 73. And, and uh, the, uh, I think it's Philip Eds from Waterloo. Took out of that, he did it. It was the, um, personally Aidan did it from, from Hamilton. There's, I think the, that was a fellow from Waterloo. Uh, and then I took out of 71 or 72, I suppose it would have been. Uh, and then I, I was on that until one year, the, the lady from Waterloo put me out and come back again. So. Yeah. And you were involved in, you went quite a few Australian championships. How did you enjoy those? Terrific. Do you remember where they were, the ones you went to? Uh, there was one like in Perth, I think I had 16 girls. One like in uh, Tasmania, it's not a certain which uh, stadium that was. Uh, the first one I went to, under three, I think, at the Auckland Flower, with Brisbane, and I could get Brisbane. We did some at uh, Jerry Coffey, was the uh, ref. I don't know, he was at the same case. I was the ref. Uh, that was up in Queensland. So I think there's nine times I've been a referee or a manager since so 5 4. No, I just mm. do which, which is a wow. figure. But uh, no, no, it was good. In fact, the, time, the first time I went away, I had to go away to find a black and white shooter. Nice, well, went there. They like this. They like this. Well, well, it's a great career, Keith. We won't keep you here on your boat. They know you have to go to a barbecue with your family. Thanks very much for your time, and we hope to be here for your ninetieth birthday. Uh, good, no, appreciate, appreciate very much. Uh, <laughs> Thanks thank a lot. Being here, and, uh, uh, I've, uh, I've, uh, always pleasure to see you. Uh, what what I've seen in the past with um, oh, I was, uh, uh, thank you uh, <laughs> in, in 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 the past there's uh, been part of a uh, organisation that uh, I think that's well for so many associations in in the country and I just wonder where will it end because in all sports the, uh, it's just not the same it's just not the same. and I've taken time so I wonder. We started off down not before the drill hall, 
uh, back in uh, 60, 68, 69, I started playing with the Lord. And I tried to feel that it was better in that old building than what it is. It's a good building now because the, the atmosphere is much better and so forth. Better, better feeling and so on. Not the need to so much to, uh, to win, I don't know. They uh, they had some players here that got a bit, got a bit hot though. But uh, uh, probably uh, another area is uh, a kid like Gilbert at 13 and 14 was doing those senior games at home. Uh, and they had other kids there too, 13 and 14. And I was quite confident that they could carry out the particular game, get the standard, and, uh, I was confident they could uh, carry out the standard that round the time. And uh, they achieved with us as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm pleased with uh, what, what I've done, what's been done with me with the uh, CBC. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's the only way things here for the Cox and the Paul Rogers' birthday. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you, Keith.